Hello, Dad. Be happy. Hi, guys. It's a beautiful day once again, and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Well, this morning is really beautiful, but I have mixed emotions. Because today, we are going to get all the birds from the farm. And we're gonna put them here in this uh, very beautiful aviary. <laughs> well, I will say that this is beautiful because I personally made an effort to fabricate this one and of course you will see that it's already ready for occupancy and uh, last week we really had that extra effort to fast track the fabrication and construction of this aviary because i believe that we are running short of time because as what you know we are going to transfer all our animals here at the house Come all you young rounders Story out Promise of heaven In the warden of Take heed where you ramble Too soon you will Way up on I'm so happy because yesterday we were able to really put this carpet grass in our landscaping over there. And I'm so glad because our landscape and this waterfalls looks very elegant now. And because of this Bermuda grass that had been in place right now, it looks our garden more attractive and beautiful. And I would like to ask for your comment if uh, what is good for this, maybe you have some more suggestions to make this beautiful, well, that's very welcome. And uh, if there are bad things that are happening, of course, there are good things that are, many good things that are also happening here because the production of our quails had been so successful. I couldn't almost believe that we had 98% of the quail eggs that we have produced. And uh, yesterday, we were so shocked to witness the volumes of chicks that had been hatched in the incubator. And I'm so happy for this because I told you that for this year, we're gonna be targeting some 3,000 quail layers and we are close to it actually because we have more than a thousand chicks that are hatched from the incubator and this is one of the best efforts that we have made in so far as uh, this quail farming is concerned maybe you will ask Dexter what will happen to other animals in the farm well, we will have to relax a little bit in the production of our chickens, but it will still continue. You know that we already have new property to be developed as soon as we're going to be able to construct this, you know, barn, these uh, cages for these chickens. They're going to be transferred over here 
but uh, it entails big capital it entails big uh, amount of money that's why i'm really doing my best to generate funds to make business in order to establish another farm or re-establish another farm right here near the house well this area is quite spacious compared to our uh, old uh, cage right there at the farm and uh, it has two compartments the first compartment here will be the alps one and then here the alps two this will now address to the issues that you have raised that you cannot mix all together this different species of african lovebirds we are also making some effort to transfer the parakeets right here but for the meantime we transfer first this uh, african lovebirds we already have transferred our cockatiel right there and in the future since we are aiming for a restaurant in the future we are thinking about putting some good aviary right here where we can see the macaw where we can see expensive birds like this indian ringneck and other types of birds that will attract the attention to our uh, customers i would like also to share with you that the use of the screen the good quality which is uh, more thicker and more higher in price is good for the african and for the parakeets but the only thing that we should do is to paint this with metal primer meaning the anti-rust so that it will not easily get destroyed it's my experience that when we are going to paint this one this will really last long we can even use this for centuries as long as we're gonna paint this one but if we will not paint well it will just easily become rotten So we will try our best effort. We will catch all these birds and we will put them inside in this uh, cage and then we will bring this cage at home. Actually, all these birds are eyeing. They are actually good pairs and they have good quality because uh, these were actually the chosen ones to become breeders. And I hope that this is going to be a good start for our eyeing African lovebirds and we expect that they will lay their eggs very soon because they're already matured and they're beautiful now to be placed there at the house this uh, aviary which is uh, colored green i chose the color green because this means life so we're gonna catch them and then we will bring them at home there are 20 birds that we are going to catch they're all adults this is very costly because the price of this is a little bit higher than the normal african lovebirds because they have the different mutations and uh, i hope that we can produce more mutations in the coming months or even years So we have caught them all and uh, we will proceed to the other cage where we're gonna catch some 50 pieces of this uh, African lovebirds. Come on, let's go. We're gonna be extra careful doing this because this African can really escape. They have the ability really to escape. So we will do this one. Maybe your concern is what will happen to the eggs 
right here. Well, this is a sacrifice. We have to move them at once because we cannot just afford to leave some of the spares. I would like to make a one-time transaction with these uh, birds. I'm going to transfer them all and they will start from zero, from scratch. And they will breed, they will adjust. But all the chicks are already been taken care of. We hand feed all the chicks and uh, the eggs will be sacrificed. Or maybe we can put that in inside the incubator. And uh, the eggs are here and we will try to incubate this one we expect to gather some 20 eggs and uh, I'm going to try this to you know, put this inside in the incubator and then if this gonna hatch then uh, we will hand feed this So we have caught some 52 heads of this African leopard and uh, we will try our luck for a different venue, different environment, different care and different people doing the daily routine. So we're gonna try our next luck over there at the house. So guys, with this new environment, I'm just crossing my fingers, new hopes, new dreams, new beginning for our African leopards. And I know that they are quite disturbed, but I am sure that they will immediately adjust. And I'm so happy because I can take care of them personally. And I have so many recipes for them. Actually, I have listed some of the 
good food for this African lovebirds for them to be able to stay healthy and to produce plenty of these eggs. And now I'm going to segregate them according to its uh, kind. The eye rings will be separated, of course, and uh, this is gonna take a, a long process. And I hope that uh, with this new environment, we can massively produce. Well, in that uh, place, we, we have actually produced some chicks, more than 10 of them, and uh, I'm not quite satisfied with the result. But with this now, that uh, it's here located just beside the house. And this is what I like, to hear every morning the chirpings of this beautiful African lovebirds. And what we can expect in the future? Well, in the future, I hope to take care of some expensive exotic birds to be uh, placed right here in this farm. So since we are already fixed, then we're gonna release this one and you know the process of releasing should be extra careful because we might uh, fail. I mean they can maybe escape. So we are doing this in a very careful manner and I decided to just uh, release them from outside and please watch this one. So guys, we are now about to release the other batch and this is uh, quite uh, expensive. These birds are actually expensive compared to those birds that are placed right there because these birds have high mutations and we hope to produce them here and it's really very exciting. You just don't know how happy am I today because of this uh, development. We were able to have this uh, aviary and uh, as what I have told you in my past videos that it's really my joy to hear chirpings of the birds every morning. And this is it. Okay, we'll put some towel at the top of this cage so that they cannot go out. Just like that. Okay. And then they will put the towel so that they can escape. Precautions really are really very important. Wait for a while. Just a few moments. Okay. Come on, you got. Go, go, go. Go. Go, go. Got. Be happy. Be merry. Let's see. Got. 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 So you see how beautiful they are. I'm so happy with this. And this is a new start. And I hope that these birds will multiply. And I can sense that they like this place because I made it uh, color green. 
and you know these birds in the wild are used to seeing green colors because of the leaves and because of the environment I just think that uh, this is good for them and uh, I hope that as what I have said I'm crossing my fingers I prayed hard that this will become successful I'm really very interested to um, massively produce this kind of bird and if you are not subscribed to this channel may I humbly ask you to please subscribe to know about the development of this and uh, shout out to the members of this channel who joined and uh, get that badge and also I am so thankful for our viewers and for those ones who made comments who made efforts to comment and help us thanks a lot and if you are not subscribed we humbly invite you to please subscribe because we are uploading videos every two days now only here at Dexter's World